Welcome to your Cohesion Classroom. In this lesson, we will take a look at how to use basic facts to solve multiplication problems. At the end of this video, you will have access to our tips and takeaways, allowing you to focus on the content being presented. You can always access any of our tips and takeaways from the lesson page before or after watching the lesson. In today's lesson, we will multiply larger numbers while relying on basic multiplication facts to get there. Finding patterns is another strategy we will use to multiply larger numbers. Remember, when we refer to basic facts in multiplication, we are referring to students being able to quickly and accurately recall their multiplication facts of any number 1 through 12 multiplied together. When working with patterns in this lesson, we will also use exponents. To review, remember that the third power of 10 is the same thing as 10 times 10 times 10 for a total of 1000. This is further explained in the Understand Exponents video. Please refer back as needed. Let's take a look at how to use a basic fact and pattern to solve a multiplication problem. The problem we are solving is to find the product of 40 times 700. First, we need to identify the basic fact, which is 4 times 7. Pulling out the two single digit numbers first will help us to simplify the problem to get the correct product first, then to worry about the zeros when we find a pattern. Now that we know our basic fact, we need to begin to add back the zeros, but we will use the powers of 10 to help keep track of them. Starting at the beginning, we know that 4 times 7 times the first power of 10 is 280. This is the same as 4 times 70. Continuing the pattern, we will keep adding zeros. So the next line will read 4 times 7 times the second power of 10, which is 2,800. This is the same as saying 4 times 700. Now that we have added all of the zeros to get to 700, we will need to add one more power of 10 to get our 4 back up to the original 40. There is a relationship between the number of zeros in our answer, 28,000, and the last power of 10 in our pattern. We ended at the third power of 10, and 28,000 has three zeros. Now that we have used a pattern to solve a multiplication problem, let's try another using mental math with a basic fact to solve. Looking at our problem, 9 times 7 times the fourth power of 10, we already have the basic fact identified for us. Remember, in fifth grade, it is expected that students can quickly and accurately recall the answer to 9 times 7, which is 63. Now that we have the product of the basic fact, we need to multiply it times the fourth power of 10. Recalling what we know about exponents, we know that the fourth power of 10 is 10,000. Therefore, we need to multiply 63 times 10,000 to get our final answer of 630,000. This is using mental math once students can recall the fact and how to solve the exponent. It can be helpful for students to notice that our answer, 630,000, has four zeros added onto the end of the basic fact 63, and the exponent we multiplied by is the fourth power of 10. A common error students can encounter when using basic facts to solve larger multiplication problems is when the basic fact has a zero in the product. For example, if a student encounters 4 times 5 times the third power of 10, they may only answer 2,000 instead of the actual answer of 20,000, leaving out the zero that is in 4 times 5, which is 20, then adding on the three extra zeros. To address this problem, 
always have students write down the basic fact first, then add on the zeros. Another common error that students can make is not adding on enough zeros when multiplying by two numbers with zeros at the end. Let's take a look back at our first problem solved with a pattern. The last step we had to do here to solve was to go back and add one more power of 10 or zero to make the four back to 40 as in the original problem. Sometimes students forget this step and will end up one zero short in their answers. For more practice with this skill, be sure to visit the Understand Exponents video to review. Remember to continue to strengthen the basic facts for accuracy and speed. This can be done as time drills or just calling out problems while in the car or at home. Continue to identify the basic fact as the first step to solving these problems and write it down first. To gain a full understanding of this concept, visit the lesson page to view the rest of the place value multiplication and expressions set of lessons. Uniting students and families in learning, we are Cohesion Education. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.